Um, I'm Stephen Thorpe and I work here in the School of Engineering and Material Science at Queen Mary University of London. Within the School of Engineering and Material Science there's a lot of groups working on mechanobiology. So this is how cells respond to mechanics. So if we squash a cell or stretch a cell, what does that cell do? What does it decide to become? The work I do in particular is focused on stem cells. For the kind of research we do, being able to analyse cellular events in real time is crucial. Um, the 720 will allow us to analyse cellular events in real time as these events occur in response to the kind of mechanical perturbations we like to apply to our cells. What's great about the 720 is its flexibility and one of the key things about it is that they haven't sacrificed performance to get this flexibility. We can apply our different platforms, we might have microfluidics platforms or platforms whereby we apply stretch to cells and we can actually image these cells under these conditions. So we've had the 620 here for the past couple of months and we've really enjoyed the images we've got out of it have been really great and the quality is fantastic. However, the lack of automation and autofocus has been a slight drawback. The 720 will give us both autofocus and automation in XY so we can look at many, many more fields on a given specimen. This will allow us to potentially get exponentially more data from a given experiment. So we're really excited about getting this into lab and getting some great data out.